guys, something I wish I knew as a white belt um, is the controlling the bicep when someone passes your guard. So from here, Luke passes my guard. Usually what happens is he grabs my head and then I start trying to escape. What I want to do is I want to act a little bit earlier than that. So I want to wait. As he passes, I look for his, his blocks his arm, okay? I'm going to use my forearm. I'm going to cut around his tricep and I use this to guide. I always start a little bit on my side as well. My other hand I'm going to frame and I like to put it just in, inside the armpit here, just on the corner, and I use my elbow to push him down. The other thing I'm going to do is he's going to be trying to get high so he's set, and I'm going to be shoulder walking, shoulder walking all the time. Okay, so what this does is for him, he's going to re pummel. He might re pummel his hand, grab my head. Okay, so we want to stop him from doing that. Okay, um, so as he, he's going to have to do something else. So he's going to have to do something with his hand. So one thing he might do is he might sit out, boom, and that's when I'm going to go for my sit up escapes. From here, maybe he goes over my shoulder. He's going to do this one. Okay, so I wait for that one as he goes. I parry it and I do an elbow push as well. Okay, um, another one is uh, a cross bicep. So what happens is sometimes he's on his knees here, he's trying to grab my head, he knows I'm blocking his bicep, he starts pulling his arm back. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this hand, I'm going to block, keep his safe, and then get my legs back in. So something I wish I knew as a white belt is coupling the bicep okay instead of waiting for the guy to pass grabbing your head then trying to escape try to prevent it from happening first you're gonna have a lot better chance of escaping see two martial arts what I really want to do is start stop knee riding even <laughs> go back <laughs> so let's pass